In classic science fiction, authors and artists dreamed of an age where humans would work side by side with robots, mechanical helpers that were so advanced they resembled their human creators. Is that age so far away? At the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, engineers have taken the next step in robotics. This is Robonaut, and it's not only changing the way people think about robots, it's making yesterday's science fiction a reality. Robonaut is a teleoperated robot meaning that a human operator can control its movements from a distance. The teleoperator wears a head-mounted display to both control the head of the robot and to see what the robot sees. The binocular video on the helmet's displays give a sense of depth and worksite immersion. A position-sensitive glove controls the movements of the intricate robonaut arm and hand, which replicates the capabilities of a human arm and hand. The human aspect of the robot hand gives the robonaut great potential to be an assistant to astronauts working in space. The current hand has 12 individual controlled motions or degrees of freedom divided into two sections. The first two fingers and the thumb make up the dexterous work side. They have three degrees of freedom. They can open and close as well as spread apart, essentially like human fingers. The remaining two fingers only open and close. They are used for grasping. The palm can cup to help grasp tools. With over 100 sensors in the arm, the manipulator has a fine motion capability that equals its great strength. The arm's one-to-one -one strength to weight ratio is unequaled in the commercial manipulator world, allowing for the portable and mobile applications that Robonaut faces. The endoskeleton is designed with custom space lubricants and materials to meet the extremes of the space environment and is covered with a novel skin that will protect the arm and help make it safe for its role as a human assistant. The two arms can work together to perform more complex tasks, to hold large objects using both hands, or to stabilize and work on objects simultaneously. Robonaut's upper body is mounted on a three degree of freedom waist, allowing full orientation of roll, yaw, and pitch motions. This articulation of the torso allows the robot to extend its reach and position its dexterous pair of arms for efficient worksite operations. With a range of motions greater than that of even a human gymnast, this waist can rotate fully around, repositioning the arms for work and the head for inspection. The head, still in development, houses stereo vision cameras that are pointed by an articulated neck. As the operator moves his head, Robonaut's eyes are pointed to mimic the human's gaze with the binocular video on the helmet's displays that give a sense of depth and VR immersion. The head contains an additional pair of cameras with auxiliary view angles and LEDs that can be used to illuminate the worksite in low lighting conditions. Robonaut's design could be ideal for helping astronauts because, for the first time, humans and robots can share the same spacewalking tools. From this power drill, used to represent the space torque wrench typically used to loosen or tighten bolts on space hardware, to tethers designed for human hands, which are used by astronauts to connect themselves to a spacecraft, and Velcro strips used to attach thermal blankets and insulation covers. Construction is underway on the International Space Station, the largest space structure ever built. The space shuttle robot arm has been invaluable in helping astronauts to move the giant pieces of the station together and maneuver spacewalkers to their work sites. The space station will have its own robotic system designed to help build and maintain the giant structure. Robonaut has the potential to expand the role of robots as helpers during routine maintenance tasks on the space station. The robot could be used to set up a work site for the astronauts, installing foot restraints, for example, saving valuable time before the complex spacewalk actually begins. As the astronaut works on the station, the robonaut could act as an assistant, much the same way a nurse works with a doctor, or if desired, the robot could perform some of the maintenance tasks on its own by being teleoperated by an IVA astronaut. When the spacewalk is complete, 
Robonaut could stow away the same equipment it set up earlier, freeing the EVA astronaut to perform more important duties. Robonaut has applications not only in the maintenance of spacecraft, but also in the exploration of other worlds. The Robonaut torso could possibly be combined with a rover, allowing travel across the rough terrain of other planets. Imagine the ability for a geologist to survey Mars through the eyes of the robot, then use its hands to scoop up soil, or even pick up a rock, inspect it, and add it to a collection for return to Earth. In the future, the same Robonaut technology that helps explore space could also have some very down-to-Earth applications. Robonaut's sophisticated hands can work with tweezers, pipettes, and a number of other common handheld tools that could be used for a host of telescience applications. Whether the Robonaut works on its own or just lends a helping hand, the uses of the Robonaut are limited only by the imagination of its user. No longer reserved for the pages of science fiction, Robonaut represents technology that is working today with far-reaching applications in the future, both in space and here on Earth.